Hey guys, Geogen Z here for another Pokemon Heart Gold walkthroughs, and check this out. Got myself a Polyrath. Oh, and what's this? Apparently, Polyrath was holding something for me. Alright, so let's get going. We're gonna be making our way to Olivine City. I think in a few videos we'll do the trick because I, mean, I haven't versed anybody on this route. So I want to take you through all of that. And come down here and get this item. But if you go back up here, you find this guy wants to fight you. Now if you look at his sprite, you can tell that he's a bird trainer. See? So if you come to learn their sprites, you can pretty much learn their type as far as Pokemon goes, for the most part. I mean, there will still be... A little bit of, uh, you know, guessing here and there. So I got myself a brand new Polyrath, and it's awesome. Really strong Pokemon. And now I'm surfing on this instead of Slowpoke. But I want to level it up a bit, because my Aquila is at level 33 right now. And Gengar's at level 30-something, too, so... I like to keep all my Pokemon at primarily the same level. However, I should have been training my Flaffy on that one because bird Pokemon, bird type, flying type, not bird type. Uh, so let's switch. Watch, it's Geodude. That wouldn't have made any sense, but just my luck as I switch out to an electric type. Super effective! Oh, wow. Freaking sweet. Alright, so that person wasn't too hard to fight. But now, beat him, you can go over here and get a white apricorn. And as far as the apricorns go, I suggest that you collect a lot of them before you bring them to Kurt, because if you get one Pokeball done a day, it's just kind of a waste. Alright, so this burly sailor man's like, What are you doing out here, kid? This place is only for real men, with binoculars. And just our luck, it's a whooper. Alright, so we're gonna try... Body Slam. That's the great thing about uh, Polyrath. I mean, not that Body Slam is a fighting type move, it's normal, but the fact that it can learn fighting type moves, and of course it has a very powerful Body Slam. Which is especially nice because since I started out with Cyndaquil, I don't think there's, that, there's any point where Typhlosion will learn a uh, Body Slam move. However, I know that Meganium does learn it, so those who have Meganium will have that advantage, but now, I got myself a Body Slam and Pokemon. Which is good, because Body Slam is a very effective move. Very powerful. Oh, jeez. What do you think, guys? Can we take it out in one shot without it killing us? I'm going to try Surf, because it's a stab move. And what stab basically means... Ah! Okay. Let's go with that. <laughs> what stab basically is... is the fact that... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. If I have a water-type Pokemon and it uses a water-type move, it'll be more effective than, say, I don't know, a ground-type Pokemon using a water-type move, which is impossible, by the way, but... Actually, no, that's not true. Well, actually, strictly ground is, you know, that doesn't work. But we have Pokemon like Quagsire, which are water- and ground-type Pokemon, and then their stab-type move would be ground or water. See, that's an considered another stab move because Victory Bell is a grass type and Vine Whip's a grass move. Yes! Awesome. I was training Victory Bell before in National Park, so I'm glad that we got the next level on it. Alright, now she's going to want our phone number. I'm going to say no. She's like, what? You don't want my phone number? Why? 
if I remember correctly, she gives you a firestone. Now this is pretty devious what they did. They have they make you go through the gr the grass right there. You see that? Because in the old game, I think this guy still has Mr. Mime. Yeah, he still does. But in the old game, you exited out of that uh, little area there. And of course, now that we're paralyzed, we have our speed reduced. I'm not even going to bother healing Polyrath, though, until we get to Olivine. Just because my Polyrath is tough. But anyway, in the old game, you used to be able to come out of that little uh, corridor there. This way you could continue on without having to go all the way around in the grass. I don't know mo what move that was. Oh, and by the way, I, I looked up how you verse trainers, how you get rematches. And it was exactly how I figured it, it was. It's through phone numbers. Ugh, stop being paralyzed! So, what you have to do is basically set up a match. You know, either they call you or you call them. The easiest way is when you call them. And you can only call them on certain days. And I'm not even going to go through all that right now because it's the Japanese version. And it's very annoying. I mean, I could. See, this guy wants my number too. Now, not all trainers who ask for your number are going to battle you. Speak of the devil. Phone call. However, some will give you items like rare evolution stones. Like that girl up there, I believe, gives you a fire stone. I think this trainer wasn't here before. I'm not sure. Yeah, so, I mean, if you guys... Oh, no! He's draining my power! Alright, I'm gonna switch out. You know, that didn't do much. <laughs> Maybe. Let's see how much damage this does. Okay, never mind. <laughs> but, uh, if you guys really want me to go through all the phone numbers and everything, and who you gotta call for what, then just post a comment on this video. Otherwise, I'm just gonna leave it as is. I mean, I prefer to train my Pokemon in Pokemon Platinum or Diamond just because the Verse Seeker is there and I really I'm kinda annoyed that there's no Versus Seeker in here because uh, that was a very handy item to have plus it made training a whole lot easier now in this game you just basically have to Verse the trainers once or you know do the whole phone business or you just don't Verse them at all again and that's how it is. Now this guy, he wants to talk to us, and he's like, Hey, guess what? You see that farm over there? It's Moo Moo Milk Farm. You should go check it out. Right now. After I'm done talking to him. Alright, he just asked me a question. Maybe he didn't ask me about the farm. He gave me something. I don't know what he gave me. He gave me something. And so we're going to end this video with checking out the new... Moo Moo Farm with all the mill tanks. I bet this is where Whitney got her mill tank. If you hear them, they're all unhappy and sick. Back in the old game, oh, by the way, if you go over to this little silo thing, you get TM60. But I remember in the old game, like shutting that off. If you want to shut the phone off, just go into a bag or something or through a building, into another building. But in the old game, I remember that the uh, mill tanks were another Pokemon that were out of their Pokeball, and I was like, that's so cool. This is pretty cool in here. Looks like they got a bigger house. Before it was like just a table. And he's like, my Moo Moo's are so sick. Silk. <laughs> That'd be pretty interesting if mill tank made silk. Then it'd be silk tank. So here we got the sick mill tank. I don't know exactly what it just asked me to do, but I know in the old game you had to feed it berries, so not exactly sure what you have to do for this one. However, it's not giving the berry because mostly we just get apricorns. Alright guys, so I am Dio Gen Z and on the next episode we're gonna continue down this route and we're gonna get to Olivine City probably. Alright, see you next time.